Hey everyone, it's Sherry Vegas and in this candle making tutorial today, I'm going to be doing those secret message candles. So these are starting to become extremely popular and I have gotten that many messages here on YouTube about doing a tutorial on how to make them. So I'm finally getting around to do that, but I'm kind of doing it with a little bit of a twist. So I'm doing three different methods that I've seen online and honestly, I've not found really much information on this topic like to do with safety. I've just seen what people have done, but no one's ever really explained whether it is like fire safe. So I'm testing out three methods I've seen online and we're gonna see if we have any issues. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm just starting off by melting down some soy wax and while that is melting, I'm gonna start preparing all of my secret messages. So the first one I'm gonna do is on some baking paper as I think that might be a good option because baking paper is quite heat resistant. So I've got these three tins and I'm gonna do each candle identical. I'm just changing the different way to add a secret message in and I'm just adding my wicks in so that way I can get ready to add my messages. Because these are really small tins, the wicks are a bit in the way so I'm just giving them a trim so that way they don't annoy me when I'm trying to add in the different messages. So the first one I said I'm gonna do on some baking paper and I feel like baking paper might work well because it is heat resistant, it's meant to go in the oven so I don't think it would burn like normal paper would. So I'm just measuring out the circumference of the tin that I'm using and then I'm going to be cutting that out so that way it can fit into my tin right at the bottom. For this message I'm going to be placing it at the base of my candle and the two main thought reasons behind this is one if it's at the base it's got less chance of being lit on fire because it's not going to be near the flame for the majority of the candle burning time and the second reason is if you fill the whole base up it can't move and float around in the wax. So I'm just cutting that circle out and then I'm going to be folding it in half and then in a quarter and then again folding that up and then just tr trimming off that little bit so that way I can poke my wick through. Because I am testing out all these different ways to add messages into your candle, none of them are going to be uh, that pretty, so please don't judge my handwriting. I honestly don't have the neatest handwriting, so I'm just doing capitals. But obviously, if you're going to be making these to sell or as gifts, you'd want to put a little bit more effort into the design of the secret message than what I have. I also realized too that baking paper, because of its like non-stick surface, um, ballpoint pens do not write that well on baking paper, so I just switched over to a marker um, to help me write onto the surface of the baking paper. So this first one just says I love you. I just looked up really generic secret messages. Um, so this first one is very simple. I love you. And then I'm just going to be adding that in to the base of my candle. When my wax was all melted down, I just poured about half on top of that I love you because this one is going to be right at the bottom. And then my next two candles, I poured the wax and filled them up halfway because I'm going to add the next messages in the middle of the candle just to see if that makes any difference. There was a little air bubble that got underneath the I love you. So I just ended up poking that down because it did start to float a tiny bit. But once I pushed it back down into the wax, it then sank to the bottom. When the wax had set on all of my candles, it was then time to start adding the next two messages. So for the second one I'm doing, I'm using these little beads that have got letters on them. Now they are plastic beads. I could not find any glass or metal in this type. These are little gold ones, but they are still plastic. And so in this one, I'm just gonna be writing, I miss you. Honestly, this was a little bit harder than what I thought it would be to add them in like nice and neat. I also had terrible tweezers. Um, so the message is a little bit crooked but obviously if I had a bit better tweezers it would be a lot easier to add these in so I'm just adding that in to the next layer I've heated up that wax a tiny bit with my heat gun too just so that way when I do add these beads in they're going to stay in place and for my third and final one I'm using tracing paper so I'm going to be cutting these up into little individual strips and placing them in just once again to see if that changes anything with this so this is just tracing paper now you can print on tracing paper so obviously if you want to do really nice looking messages with fancy writing you can always get tracing paper and put it for your printer and print out your message that way and then cut that out to fit into your candle 
Then I just cut each word out individually from the tracing paper as I'm going to be placing this going around the candle. And I just wanted to see if having the little bits of paper through the candle would make any difference if they would move into the flame. I'm adding a little bit of melted wax just so that way it has something to adhere to. And then all you can do what I did previously, use my heat gun and just heat up a really thin layer of wax. And then I've just placed that into the candle the exact same way I did with my other two. And once that wax is set, I could finally add the final layer of my wax and hide my messages. I left this for about two days to fully cure and set before I did start burning them to test out the messages. And then it was time to test them, so I just lit them and I made sure I stayed and watched them. I wanted to see if one, the candles burnt any differently because of the items that were in the candle. And also two, if there was any potential safety issues, any fire hazards because of those messages that have been added into the candle. Now they all burnt at pretty much the exact same rate. The only thing I noticed was the thinking of you, which was placed in separately, did float into the center of the candle, but the other two stayed the same. But in the end, there was no fire hazards, no issues. They all burnt at the same rate and nothing caught on fire. So I think you could pretty much do whichever message that you liked in your candle. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer any questions, but what method did you like best and have you ever done this before? Um, and if you like this video and you found you got some good, useful information, then definitely give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe as I post new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching.